With most immigrant refugee issues, I think it uh, basically stems to uh, integration for those communities, those newer communities. And I think it uh, really um, needs to uh, involve the, the existing community that's already residing, say here in Calgary, to provide some extra support. If they already have those community members, um, residing, working, um, uh, prospering uh, in the community. I believe that uh, through their support system and their examples that they can provide a lot more uh, assistance to those newcomers uh, to Calgary. And I think from uh, the policing point, um, it's just a matter of making them feel more comfortable. Obviously there's uh, newcomers uh, that come to Canada, Calgary specifically, that come from communities where policing isn't really looked upon favorably. And we have a program here with the Calgary Police called You and the Law, which we provide to agencies uh, that serve the new immigrants, uh, refugees arriving to Calgary. Um, that's a two-hour presentation that talks about policing not only here in Calgary but in Canada. And it generally talks about our uniform, our tools, and our tool belt, why we have those tools. And some basic things about the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and what that means for them. And it also provides us an opportunity to give them maybe uh, a more positive outlook when it comes to policing. I think they're very important. I, I think everybody has biases. And it's a matter of understanding your own individual biases. And it, and it takes a bit of understanding of yourself to be able to set those biases aside, especially when you're having those conversations with those people. And I mean those people, just general people in, in conversations day to day, or just being in a different setting and having some um, understanding of maybe their cultural differences or maybe some of their uh, differences in the way they dress and appearances and stuff like that. And I think it's maybe the onus on the individual being a little more educated that you can kind of set those biases aside. And uh, as the old saying goes, you know, put yourself in their shoes. So it's a little easier to come from a position of, of wanting to be open and being able to uh, provide some help. Um, if you see uh, racial slurs or people being um, not being treated fairly or equally, to say something, step up. Um, because at the end of the day, we're all humans. It uh, doesn't matter whether or not, in my case, if I was wearing my uniform or working something else or a, a child or a, an adult, we're all humans, so we all have to share the same space. We all eat and breathe the same things, basically. So we have to treat each other as equals.